Okay, the uh, next thing we want to do is create that rib that's over on the side here. So to do that, what we're going to do is uh, we'll go in there and go to the front plane and note that we need to offset a plane relative to that two inches and we need to flip that over to the other side. The overall thickness of this is four. So there's our plane we want to draw on. So we'll simply go in there and sketch on that plane. And I'll go and look at that from the uh, normal perspective. Okay, and I'm going to draw a circle. And I can do anything out here. And I'll put in dimension. Now in that case, it shows a radius on that as 2.18, and that's times 2. Then it shows the uh, height from here to there as uh, we're going to make that two inches. It's the same as the height of the, the piece on the this center here. Then the only other thing on that is we're going to have to go and add a relation between this uh, point and that line and make it coincident. That's what I was trying to do on some of the other ones earlier so that that's all lined up. Then we're going to draw a line that comes from this point, and we're going to make that tangent. We'll break that chain, and we're going to draw another line, and we're going to make that tangent. It's not showing up tangent, so I'm just going to draw it out in space, and then I'll add a relation to it. This line and that circle. That way I know it's tangent. And the only other thing, I'll zoom in on that and notice that that line needs to be extended. So I'll go ahead and extend that out. And then we'll make sure that this one does the same thing, but it's good there. And now what I'll check next is I need to have the distance from this point down. So I'll do a smart dimension and come from this line to that point. Now according to the drawing, that needs to be 6.5 minus 0.75, which is that radius down, minus 0.25 to get it up off that bottom. And there's my distance. Now if I question that, I can go over here and note that that's going right to that tangency point. So then I'll simply just go in there and trim out that part of the arc, and I'm ready to do my rib. So I'll exit the sketch, go to the features, create a rib, and there you can see it highlighted and which way it's going. I already changed my thickness to 1, and I'm going in the right direction, so I'll finish the rib. Now I want to go ahead and hide that plane. Now I guess the next thing you could do is actually go in there and put in some fillets. And so we'll go fillets and those particular fillets, I don't know, does it say anywhere? I don't see anywhere where it says, but Let's make them eighth inches wide as well. See how that works out. So I can put them on this outside. Again, I like to do these more or less individually. Okay, and that's going to wrap that around. And then we'll probably put a fillet out on this edge and on that edge. That just kind of blends in there, so let's see if we can get that to, to stick or not. Nope, it doesn't like that, so uh, it just gets too small there. And let's see, actually I I show those in, the, in my other part. Oh, uh, and maybe I might need to put one here. 
let's go back and undo this. Uh, let's undo this fillet here. Delete that out of there. And let's try that a little bit different now. Let's put this in. Still doesn't like it. And it's probably, you know, I bet it's probably the fact that they're too big. So let's go back and get in this other drawing if I can. Oh, I'm still in that command. And it looks like those are... Um, they're quarter inch. Okay, so let's try a quarter inch on that and see what it does. For some reason it likes the bottom now, not the top. Another one. So we'll do it again. I'm going to leave those at eighth of an inch just for now. And I don't know, let's go ahead and put the quarter inch on this. Now, if I do that a little differently, if I put the quarter inch in here first, accept that, and then we'll get. We pick that line. Oh, it should have. I thought it would have grabbed that. So I'm not thinking that's going to work 100%. Yeah, looks good. Uh, we'll leave the inside of this out. That that'll get machined out. So I guess the next thing to do would be hit save. And then what we want to do is get that on the other side. Now none of these uh, planes, I don't think, line up. Oh, the right plane does. So we'll leave that like so. So that plane is picked. We'll do a mirror. It comes up automatically. Features. And basically, why don't we come over here and grab the... Oops, wrong place. Uh, let's just put a window around this whole thing. See if that doesn't work for us. I think we got everything. Pick it. And there you go. That's much easier than drawing multiple things there. And that's plenty acceptable. In fact, that would be the smart way to do it, wouldn't it? Then uh, we've got just a couple more things to do. I'm just going to go ahead and face them up here. One we've got to put on that bottom. We've got to draw a sketch. Try it again. And we've got to draw a circle. Now, if you want, we could go look at that normal to that plane. Draw a circle in there, and we'll come straight down off of that, and straight over from there. Create a dimension for this, and that I believe was three and a half, if I remember correctly. And now note, it's not giving me; any, it's still not a hundred percent. Uh, where it should be, so let's we can put in a dimension there, that's fine. And that number is two inches. And then we'll go ahead and do a relation between this point and that point, vertical. Now it's uh, tied in there. So we'll finish the sketch, extrude. And we need to extrude that a quarter of an inch. And then I guess really there should be some fillets on at least that in there. But now be careful. This is going to get ugly. Uh, I don't think this is going to want to work for us. And it, especially at a quarter of an inch. It's going to get ugly there I believe. See it doesn't like that. Let's, let's see what that does. I think it's going to act like it wants to work. Of course, it probably locked up since I didn't save. And it's starting to not like it, so 
Let's see if we can make that an eighth of an inch if it likes it a little better. Let's pick that one. And there you can see it went around. And then we'll go with an eighth inch on that right there and see what it does. Okay, then we have to get around on this back side. Eighth of an inch on that. Okay, now let's see. What else do we have? Uh, better save, huh? I think the only other thing we've got there is a hole down. Well, we've got a hole through the center, and then we've got that tapped hole. Uh, so let's put the hole down through the center. Let's see how we want to do that. Uh, if we go to the hole wizard, I guess we could go, yeah, we could go to the hole wizard. And that's just going to be a through hole. And is there somewhere that tells us what that hole diameter is? If there is, I'm not seeing it. The hole for the piece that goes into that, oh, I guess that two inches is the uh, diameter. So we'll put in a two inch diameter hole. Uh, it's showing up as threaded, so we'll do a simple hole. And we'll show custom sizing, and that wants to be two inches. And that's going to go through all. The position now. Let's go 3D sketch, what the heck. Put it there, and I'm going to say I want a dimension from this face to there is 5.062. And then from this face to there is 2 inches, isn't it? And that should be it. And there's your hole. Now, the only other thing we've got is we've got a hole on the front face, and that actually goes all the way through. Now, that's that's the one where it says to drill for a number eight taper pin. And what I want you to do is use the pin that's on the back page of this handout. It's a spring pin. It's just a straight spring pin. And the diameter on that, uh, let's make that... Uh, well, let's go with a quarter inch. Let's see. Let me check one thing here. Actually, let's go with the three eighths. If we got it, let's go three eighths on that. So we're just going to punch in a three eighths hole. So uh, we'll go hole wizard. It's a simple hole, and it just so happens now that says 3 8 there, so we'll just turn off the custom sizing. Position, 3D sketch, we're going to go here somewhere. And I don't know about that. Let's make that, show that custom sizing and get back to 3 8 Oh, crap, I just blew that, didn't I? That, uh need to show my dimensions and see if we can't fix that. Forgot to do the position. Okay, now let's see from the from that same face to the center. That was 5.062. And then let's see from the where do they locate that from the very bottom so from the very bottom we want to go up so from this face to that point is 1.25 and now we're done and the only other thing is I didn't go all the way through did I so let's get that all the way through And there we've got our part now. Let's save it. 
and that part is done much more than the other part that I'm showing over here so that's the uh, support roller bracket